Hello, geometry students. This is Mrs. Williams from Tyler Legacy High. And we are going to be studying the segment addition postulate. A few notes, I put these online. So if you would just get a copy or just kind of follow along, that would be great. Line segments that have the same length are called congruent segments. Now for some of this, it may be a little bit difficult to read. I know it's kind of blurry. Uh, we're working on that, getting another method. But for now, I don't want to want you to get behind. So these are congruent. Segments. Okay. Draw congruent segments. So what we did in class was we we took a small ruler and we just kind of drew our congruent segments like so. And you may or may not have a ruler, but for you spatial people, we want to have everything the same. So I'm going to go five centimeters here. I'm going to go over a little bit more. And I'm also going to make this one five centimeters. Okay. So those are my two congruent segments. They are both five centimeters. Okay. The first one I'm going to call AB. This is segment AB. And this is segment CD. So what I can say is AB, segment AB is congruent to segment CD. Their lengths are the same. We can say that the length of segment AB is equal or equivalent to segment C, CD, or the length of segment CD. Lengths are equal. Or we can say segment AB is congruent to segment CD. Segments are congruent. Lengths are equal. Okay. The next part of this, a rule that is accepted without proof is called a postulate. The segment addition postulate states that when three points, such as E, F, and G below, there's E, F, and G, are on the same line, you know that we call that collinear. They're on the same line. We say that one point is between the other two, and that E, F is being apart, and FG, this being the other part, is equal to the whole, which is would be EG. So the part plus part is equal to the whole. So how are we going to use this? I'm going to go over a few examples with you, and then I'm going to stop and allow you to work at different intervals. Number three, we have A, B, and C. They are collinear points. B is between A and C. We see that the length of AB is 8 units and the length of BC is 12 units. But the segment addition postulate says that the length of segment AB plus the length of segment BC is going to be equal to the length of AC. That's the part plus the part is equal to the total. So AB substituting in is 8, BC is 12, and we see that those are equal to 20. So the length of AC is going to be 20 units. Let's give another example. Let's pull another one out. Here's an example. This is going to be 
line a x y z that's what we're going to call it here's x here's y and then here's z okay x y is going to be 75 units y z is going to be 55 units and i'm going to write that in just like that so let's figure out what is the length, the total length of XZ? Okay, the segment addition postulate says that XY plus YZ, when you have three collinear points, that is going to be equal to XZ. So when we substitute in, we see that XY is 75 units, YZ is 55 units, so together, altogether, that's 130 units. Just another example to sit there so that you have two. Okay, let's go to the next problem, example. Number four here. We have three collinear points, A, B, and C, so one is between the other. The segment addition postula says that when we have that, then the one part plus the other part is equal to the total. So knowing that, we have A, B plus B, C is going to be equal to A, C. But notice, we know the total on this one and the part, but we don't know the part and the part. So rather than adding, we're going to subtract. So what we have here is the length of segment AC minus the length of the segment AB should give us BC. So in other words, just breaking it down, making it really simple, 22 minus 6 equals 16 units. So the answer here would be 16 units. Okay, let's get another example in. We're going to have this one L, M, N. Here's L, M, and N. And of course, they're on the line. This is a line segment. We're going to have that the total length here, total distance, is 186. But the length of MN is 102 units. The segment addition postulate says that what we have, if we have two parts, three collinear points, one is between the other, then we know that LM plus MN is going to be equal to the total length of LN. Since we know the total or the whole, what we're going to do is subtract. So LN minus MN should give me the length of LM. So in other words, I'm going to subtract the part from the total. So I'm going to have 186 minus 102 and that's going to give me 84, um, it's 84 units is going to be the length there. Now I want you to stop and I want you to do or complete numbers 1 through 8 on the guided practice. When you're done, you can start back up the, the tape or the video. Proceed to the next video. Thanks.